and welcome to a very, very early map preview of Saxthorpe Farms by Farm Sim Briscoe. Now, as I said, this is a very, very early preview, and we'll get into some little details in a moment about where the map is set and uh, what the plan is for it. But uh, yeah, very lucky to be. Uh, able to bring you this preview so thank you farm sim briscoe so let's uh, dive in and uh, have a look at the map shall we so in chatting with uh, farm sim briscoe on discord and he's uh, sent me a few little facts um so it's a real life area just north of norwich in the uk um the place is saxthorpe and uh it is so it's a real life area um and good thing about this is hopefully it's going to come to console so farm sim briscoe if you don't know is the creator of the oaks which is a 4x map which um i've been playing on now for a couple of months and i love it it's a brilliant map uh, very very good for a first time map uh, maker so uh, yeah looking forward to Hopefully seeing this come to consoles and uh, yeah, getting it then available to everybody. So as you'll see, as we look off the edge of the map, you'll just see how work in progress this is. So we've got a nice road network and we've got a few farms laid out and a few fields, but uh, that is about it for the moment. So we're going to head to this first yard on the left and have a quick look round. Now what I like about Palm Sim Briscoe's maps is he uses mods by other modders. So when you download the map um, it has dependencies. So this is one of Lancy Boy's sheds by the look of it. So you download that mod and obviously that credit then goes direct to the modder. And uh, yeah it's quite a nice little feature of how he makes his map so let's have a quick run through the pond got a gas station here and this area from what he says will be the starter farm on easy mode okay so new farmer so you get quite a few sheds and obviously you're right near to the uh, fuel station should you need to refill your tractor now if we hop back in our fence and we'll do a bit of a loop around and head up to the next bit of the map. So if we just as well bring up the map, you'll just see we get a lot of red at the moment. So obviously the mini map isn't detailed. You can see there, look, it just says in a map and you can just see the fields that are defined and a few placeables about. So yeah, it's uh, like I said, it's properly work in progress so up here we've got what i assume to be a cell point with some storage and a rather decent size shed there but already you can just see the level of detail in the texture of the ground how everything is not all level as we go further up and start to see the field entrances you'll just see the level of detail that we get so sawmill built in to the map quite handy not sure if there's going to be any collectibles we'll have to wait and see about that but you've got an area here which looks to be set out to be potentially another sell point which is quite nice now i know on the oaks there are areas where you can build your own sort of production sites or put cell points in but as we come to this field here just look at the detail going into the field entrance it's not perfectly level it's got shrubs and bushes everywhere as it is in the UK and you as you come into the field so it doesn't look like it's defined quite yet but yeah there's quite a, a few interesting shaped fields so let's take a quick look so obviously we're here that's not defined as yet, but you'll see these ones down here are not 
your sort of uh, standard shape fields, which again is very much like the UK. So just heading up the west side of the map now, and it's little things like this, the fencing around this pond area here, which just brings a level of detail to things that really do make it a nice map to be on. Even in these early stages, you can imagine coming up here, and it's quite open in some areas, so reasonable sized kit if you are so inclined. Yeah, just the uneven terrain of these single track farm roads really do make things quite immersive, I find. As we head up here, you'll see one of the bigger fields. So that's quite a decent size. And you can just see if I bring it down, it's not completely flat, nice and hilly. So it's going to put some of your machinery to the test. So we'll swing back round here and uh, move on around the map. So we are sat between the field entrance or the field that we looked at the entrance of over there. And then a couple of more fields over here. And again, you can see the level of detail going into as it forks off into the fields. Build entrances aren't perfect in real life. You know, there's undulations. Half the time, they're cut into hedgerows or hedgerows are removed to make larger gateways. And it just gives that feel of realism to it. And look how we dip down here and the fields are actually above the uh, track that we're on. And in places, you can just see over in the distance how it's really set down from the other field. It's not all flat. It does, uh, yeah, you can imagine <laughs> falling off the road and ending up down in the field, especially with my driving. So you can see how it's all sort of starting to take shape. Again, it's not, it's not intended to be perfect looking. It's incredibly, incredibly realistic. So we are at the north end of the map, and if we turn left here, we come to another one of the farmyards, and immediately we've got two cow sheds. Yeah, one, two. So you've got your slurry pits there, and they fit so well. I've come down here and I can't get through. <laughs> Tell you what. We'll hop out and have a walk or a run around the area. So, two cow, kit, two cow sheds. And quite a, cu a couple of barns. I guess this is marked out for... We're putting a straw barn down, possibly. We come round here. We've got a couple of silage bunkers. And some quite hefty storage sheds. You get quite a bit of kit and or bales in those. So again, a really nicely detailed, quite small farm, but a decent sized yard nevertheless. More storage over here. And again, it's all quite sat nicely away from everything else. It feels quite isolated, but again, it, at the same time, a cool area. So let's move on and uh, see what else we can find. So as we head down what seems to be one of the more main roads on the map, take a look at the verges and just how sort of uneven and how the road dips away onto the grass verge like it does in real life. It's not all um, smooth and flush and flat just uh, yeah adds that it's that little level of detail now i'm <laughs> i'm hoping that uh Palms in briscoe is this is as intended because i quite like that don't go smooth them out please it does uh you say it's that sort of unmaintained road edge that 
we see so much of in the UK. So we'll quickly head back down here to over there to the left. So if I bring the mini map back up, you'll see we're heading now back to where we started from. And we'll swing a left and have a look at that area over there. So as we come off this typically narrow and sort of overgrown British B road, we pull into this quite tiny yard. Nice bit of storage, could be a satellite yard for storing little bits of machinery or whatever you choose really. So let's have a look where we are on the map. So we are bottom left hand corner. So if we carry on down here, we'll see what we come to. Now there are a couple of little icons there. Now do I need to be going down there? We can go and have a look, can't we? See where it leads. But again, coming off the road, over the bump, I can see myself uh, flipping tractors doing this, playing on this map. Come round the back and through. Quite like the ponds and the level of detail that goes into this. So this looks to be an area that you could transform yourself. Maybe you start from scratch, build your own farm, clear the trees that sort of thing so I quite like that that's uh, and this is what I mean there's these little areas that you can discover so if we head down here this takes us to what looks like it's going to be a field I'm guessing yeah they're decent sizes look I don't think there's anything that's truly a small field yeah not sure on how much they're going to cost etc but yeah there's some serious potential with this map there really really is so still in the bottom left hand corner of the map and we're right next to the boundary as you can see we are at Saxthorpe Grain so this is going to be one of your cell points there you go, look, cell point one, cell point two. So I'm guessing they're going to be Saxthorpe one and Saxthorpe two. Yeah, two Saxthorpe grain and one Saxthorpe grain. Really do like how he integrates the cell points into the map just so they look as intended that rather than having to place your own and it looking all out of place. Again, another shed that maybe if you own the area could role play using that but yeah this map is started to take shape and is looking brilliant I really do think it is going to be a cracking map to play on so as we head back to the store and it's a nice looking class dealership you can just see how much work there is left to do on this map but my word is it starting to take shape and look brilliant um thank you farms in briscoe for this very early um access look at the map and your hard work so far hope you've enjoyed watching this video everybody else um if you have leave a like subscribe to the channel and hopefully i'll be able to give you uh, more updates as the map progresses but until then take care and i'll see you in the next one